Chiefs have won Super Bowl 57. I heard a quote from Deion Sanders when I was a kid. He said, if your dreams aren't bigger than you, then you ain't dreaming big enough. I love to hear it. Great it. game. Congratulations. Hey, Swaggy, homie. You too. You can't achieve things unless you put it into your mind that, you know, you want that and you desire that. If you're not dreaming bigger than yourself, baby, you ain't dreaming big enough. What's the significance of your hat? So my hat is uh, bring back yesterday. It's actually one of my best friends growing up uh, has a um, has a company where he just comes up with some hats that have some fun language on it. Um, bring back yesterday is let's bring back the good memories. Let's reminisce. The yesterday the Chiefs were trying to bring back was this one when they won Super Bowl Fifty Four, but that's not where the story of the twenty twenty two team begins. For Patrick Mahomes, the genesis of his second Super Bowl title began in losing Super Bowl 55. That was probably the starting point for sure. People saw all the cool scrambles where I was trying to scramble around, throw these huge touchdowns and these plays, and they weren't working. Over fire! Over! I've learned now that you can't always be Superman. You gotta sometimes you gotta just rely on your teammates to make plays happen for you. Hey, you're a legend, man. Congrats, man. You're awesome. You're amazing, man. I'll always be haunted by Super Bowl 55. Chris Jones always will be haunted by the 2021 AFC Championship game. That's his starting point for this story. 21-21 tie. Burrow being rushed. The Chiefs sacked him. No, he don't. He gets away. Now they dive at him. Now Burrow will scramble, and he's got a first down. Chris Jones had him dead to rights. Amazingly got away from Jones twice. And this isn't just nobody. This is Chris Jones. He can't believe he did not get Joe Burrow to the ground. I have a kill shot on Joe Burrow. It's him and I. I'm there in that split second. He ducked under me, and I'm chasing him. And he's so crafty. He's seen the swipe coming, jumped over the swipe, and ran for the first down. After the game, he posted that picture. And he quoted a rap lyric um, where it's like, Cartier glasses, I can't even look at you. Something like pick a boo. I feel like life goes full circle, right? OK, I'll see you again. For Travis Kelsey, the beginning of this story wasn't about the loss of a game, but a teammate. All right, we got some breaking news here on NFL Network. Tyreek Hill has been traded from Kansas City to Miami. I heard a lot of people saying that it was over with for the Chiefs, and that's where it really started for me. I don't think it's blasphemous to say not a great day for the Chiefs because they lost Tyreek Hill. Am I crazy here? I'm seeing all this backlash. Don't talk ill of the Chiefs. They're the Chiefs. They lost Tyreek Hill, dummies. That does, that's, that's significant. I mean, listen, there's no question. The Chiefs got worse today, right? You could hear the people saying that we were going to have a little bit of a down season. So for the first time in years, the Kansas City Chiefs will not make the playoffs. It's always nice to have a little bit of extra uh, motivation as you go throughout a season. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals in Glendale, Arizona. This will be the site of Super Bowl 57 in February. I remember stepping on that field, looking around the environment, and just kind of thinking to myself, is this is the place that I want to end my season with a win. The season opener was a sign of things to come in more ways than one. It is caught! Touchdown! You drive right down the field, you throw a touchdown, and I remember I landed it kind of on my wrist. Um, and I was like, man, dude, no way I just hurt my wrist on the first touchdown of the year. Patrick Mahomes seemed to have banged his left hand on that touchdown pass. He came over, they taped it up. Despite the injury, Mahomes threw five touchdown passes. Injuries would become a big part of his story as would rallying from deficits of at least 10 points, which the Chiefs did in week two. Mahomes will throw it. 
Looking left, now spins to his right. He is going to pump fake it, trying to get to the outside. Now fires it, side one caught, and into the end zone, McKinnon, touchdown! It is Mahomes' magic, a play that only Patrick makes. Jaw-dropping plays always seem to be on the tip of Mahomes' tongue. It's something that uh, my dad did. I think my dad kind of got it from Michael Jordan, and I used to watch him growing up, and I would see him doing it, and I think I started imitating him when I was really young, and now it's a habit. Any type of focus, I always have that tongue to the side. Uh, out of my mouth, and now I guess I already see my daughter doing it, so it might be something that goes into Mahomes' uh, generational uh, habits. So I do have a mouthpiece on, I have a clear one, so I don't necessarily bite my tongue. I've never really done it, so I just got to try to keep that going. Mahomes throws it late, he's got Justin Watson, catch in the end zone, touchdown! In week two, Mahomes bit into the Chargers' lead, but the biggest play of the game was the longest of the Chiefs' league-high 61 touchdowns. Right side, try to intercept it, picked off at the goal line, at the 25-yard line, Jalen Watson! Kansas City's defense earned them a win. The next week, it cost them one. Oh, my gosh. That's Chris Jones, and that's probably the biggest bonehead play of his career. That's worse than like conduct. Defense number 95. Wow. They were about to take the Colts off the field inside of five minutes, and now they pick up a new set of downs. I told Matt Ryan, get your old ass up. And they gave me a flag. They gave me a flag for that. We've met with him so many times. He's such a mild-mannered guy. He is. Friendly guy. Yeah, all I said, get your old ass up. Then I used it. Uh, for <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> okay, I did leave. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> 29 seconds left. Colts down by four. Here he goes from the 20. He throws it to the end zone. I cost the team a game. And Jones is going to rue for days and days that penalty. Amer Look at this. <laughs> Never seen that before in my life. I don't even know where they get that. The answer might be the lab, a place where ingenuity flourishes. And while this is what a traditional one looks like, the Chiefs do their most creative work outside. When the Chiefs are practicing, Mahomes and Kelsey go down to the other end of the field and they make a little bit of the magic. Yeah, they go down there and make up stuff. <laughs> they work a lot in the laboratory, as they call it. We built this culture of let's go out there and practice, have a great time doing it, enjoy it, have fun, but at the same time, uh, let's be great. You got Pokemon! I guess you could call that the lab. It's always fun to see what's really possible and what we could really do out there on the field. And the fact that Coach Reed is kind of always, you know, he's open ears at least. Uh, he might not agree to everything. He's got... As he, he says it best, he's got 51%, so. There's definitely a lot of plays that he's axed out, so we have to make sure it's perfect whenever we bring it to him and that it actually is going to work. He won't say no way we're not doing it, he just will never put it in the game plan. With the Chiefs, sometimes it's harder to determine which are crazier. Plays that make the game plan. They shovel it inside, Edward Zimmer! Touchdown! Or ones that occur when their mad scientist wings it. He's a wizard out there, man. Patrick Mahomes, the magic man. He's the Houdini of our era, man. Holds it, now he's gonna shovel it late, he's got McKinnon! We see him out there practicing this crazy <laughs> and it's like, okay, he will never do that in a game. But he do. The play's never dead, man. Spinning, trying to keep the play alive. It's the play after the play, the extended play, that makes Pat Mahomes the best quarterback in the National Football League. In a rematch of Super Bowl 55, Mahomes was asked to be an actor. Four seconds on the play clock, now a direct snap, and the Chiefs trying to shot for a touchdown! And he and Kelsey know how important it is to follow a great script. This isn't my first time hosting a TV show. I actually had my own dating show on E! <laughs> called Catching Kelsey. <laughs> uh, it was kind of like The Bachelor, uh, except instead of roses, I handed out footballs, and instead of watching, people do not. <laughs> Which was... The pure brilliance on stage or a field often comes when the leading man improvises. Holding it, gets off the hit, now lunging forward, and now fires it late, caught at the back of the end zone! Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw that. 
That's right. That's something you like. You do a man. The ability to keep creating on the run. That's the time where it's really time to get jiggy and we're in the backyard playing football like little kids with no rules. He looks like the dad playing in the backyard with all the kids and they can't get him on the ground. Watch this. All of a sudden the ball just comes floating out like it was an NFL film's heavenly moment. I always think it's a little cool whenever you go watch the highlights after the game and you see a, a throw that you didn't expect to be that cool and then you're like, man, that was a sweet play. After the win, Kelsey delivered a sweet throw of his own, but his receiver was a not ready for primetime player. He was a QB and a tight end with me at uh, the University of Cincinnati, one of my best friends to this day, Demetrius Richardson, I'm calling you out right now. I threw an absolute dime, sure enough. He drops it, somebody else picks it up that has my jersey on, and now it's in their hands for the, the rest of life, I guess. For a parachutist and a pass rusher, the goal is always a soft landing. Chris Jones thought he stuck his on this play. Carr is hit from behind, and the ball is taken away by Jones. A flag comes out on the play. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. He took a sack, forced fumble from me. The full body weight. It happens so fast for a referee. Sometimes they don't see, all they see is boom, boom. And they're like, yeah, that's too aggressive. But then when you actually slow the play down, you can see that I actually brace because I had the ball in my head. I think that left arm does brace, which takes some of that power off of it. I can see why the Kansas City fans are not thrilled with it. I don't blame the crowd at all. I don't, I don't either. While Jones was penalized for being too rough, Kelsey was feeling the wrath of the Raiders. I was literally getting my, I don't want to cuss you, I was getting my tail whooped the entire game. I'm talking about hit at the line of scrimmage by a D lineman. I wasn't getting a lot of opportunities to get the ball. Merrick just knocks him out. There's something about overcoming, getting just banged around all day and still finding ways to score touchdowns. Makes you feel invincible, man. Kelsey helped Kansas City rally from a 17 to nothing deficit. Mahomes fires it late. Kelsey at the catch inside the 10. Stiff arms one, now two. Stumbles into the end zone. Touchdown! A hat trick for Travis Kelsey. It was a funny game. I had more touchdowns than I had yards per catch. Oh, touchdown! He's only had seven catches for 25 yards. About this over the weekend. I love this dude right here, baby. This is my dog. Fighting. We keep fighting, baby. Prior to their week seven game in San Francisco, Kelsey and Mahomes engaged in a different kind of fight. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty when I was growing up. I played for the first time all season. I have a Friday night where I'm like, all right, I have a little bit of free time with Marquez, uh, with uh, Juju and Trav. We won like four, three or four games straight. And then they go out there on Sunday and have huge games, all three of them. <laughs> The Call of Duty Quartet helped the Chiefs come back from another 10-point deficit and improve to 5-2. and two. Over the middle, Juju Smith-Schuster wide open, 25-20. Jukes the safety, 10, gets a block. Angling near side, pylon, touchdown! Chris Jones didn't partake in the video game, but he dominated the trenches, notched two sacks, forced a fumble, and was a good soldier after the game. Feels a little bit odd to ask you to comment on a no-comment shirt, but is there a reason you're, you're wearing it here? Well, everyone has been asking what's my comments on the sacks, the, the flags I get. I have no comment. I'm trying to... <laughs> I have no comment, man. Stone Cold Jones, baby. I love him, man. He's one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite human beings. Stag Nation, baby. We come in your trap, we kick off and put our feet up. Jones attended high school in Houston, Mississippi, went to Mississippi State, and rode an emotional roller coaster of the 2016 draft. I was at the draft for two days. To be in a green room for a whole day and not get your name called, damn, it's a huge awakening. I was going to go home. I was like, forget this. Uh, I'm done with the draft. I don't sit here 24 hours. Got a free Xbox out of it, though. But I was like, I'm done with the draft. I don't want to be here no more. My father was like, no. Uh, you're going to walk across the stage. You want to bring some swag to the stage? All right, Chris Jones, welcome to the national stage. And that is the on the humble meter. For Commissioner Goodell, I think that is the best we've seen of the draft so far. He's been bear-hugging NFL quarterbacks ever since. You have to have 
multiple linemen hitting him. You have to have help from the skill positions and chipping him because if you let him be the beast that he is, he will absolutely terrorize your quarterback. He'll find ways to play mind games with the offensive line and demoralize their mentality and their focus. For him to be that gifted and that talented um, and still work as hard as he, he does, you don't see that, and that's why he's such a special player that's going to be wearing a gold jacket one day. We play locker room basketball, and he's out there shooting like he's Steph Curry. Stone Cold with the sweet shot also goes by another nickname. LaRondo? LaRondo? Well, I gave you to myself. <laughs> he thinks he has more handles than he does, though, so I can see where he gets the LaRondo from. <laughs> every, every, <laughs> I know you can't trust the guy who nicknames himself, but I'm telling you. I was a mixture of LeBron at his prime in Miami and uh, Ray John Rondo because I, I was the type of guy I can go out and have 18 assists. Well, bring it in here. Oh, nice you coming. Oh, I'm so happy to get this, sir. There's no confusion about you, this sir. man's nickname. With the Winkler on the back and everything. He is uh, the Fonz, and he's someone that will be iconic forever. And for him to be such a Chiefs fan, uh, it was cool to get him out to a game. Wow. Wow. Everybody knows who the coolest guy in the room is, man. It's the Fonz, baby. Travis Kelsey was a close second during this nationally televised Sunday night game. Did he do a little Dion into the end zone? A little bit? Oh, yeah, a little Dion high step, man. I've always had fun expressing my excitement for the game and my love for the game that way, trying to act as one of my favorite players of all time. It's appropriate that Dion Sanders has such an influence on the man who can't stop scoring in. Prime time. Up the right sideline, 10, 5, touchdown! Everything kind of just falls in place for me when uh, when the lights are on and I know everybody's watching. That's the fun of it. I get excited when it's Monday night football and I'm not playing. 37 seconds left to go in the game. 27 23 Chargers. Why not put on a show on the biggest stage, man? Mahomes crossing pattern caught Kelsey, 10 yard line, 5 yard line, touchdown! Making plays in the biggest moments of games, he does it week after week after week. Through 10 games, Kelsey had 11 touchdowns, eight of them in primetime. Primetime games, always down to the wire. That's the reason why you play this game, to be in those moments, to find uh, success in those moments, man. That's just, that's what fuels me to keep doing this every single year. I absolutely love it, man. <laughs> The best dressed? Oh, man. I, I would like to say myself. What about your outfit for a supper? Oh, you like the swag, huh? This is what I do. This is, listen, this is what I do. That's what the NFL done turned to, runway show. They have the great fashion sense. Travis, especially. He's definitely, I would say, at the top. And Chris Jones has kind of came through really strong these last couple of years. I'm just taking that next step now. So uh, I'm very simple, very clean. Pat is a suit guy. He'd be tailored down to the ankles. Trav is a more so, like, eccentric type of vibes, you know what I mean? I like to have fun with it. I wouldn't say I'm the best dressed. It really just depends on what your fashion style is. Now, how much thought went into picking that outfit out this morning? Um, not too much. It was a little chilly this morning, a little brisk, and, uh, you know, why not go with the, uh, the leopard print? <clears throat> and I, I know what you guys are thinking. This isn't Cheetah. This is Leopard. Love you, Cheetah. Leopard, cheetah, one print he'll never wear is Bengal. And now the ball's out. Cincinnati rips it away from Kelsey. And the Bengals recover. Kelsey's fumble led to a game-winning touchdown for Cincinnati. Wow, the Bengals have beaten the Chiefs three straight times. But right now, Cincinnati has their number. 100%. Yeah, there was no doubt about it. They had our number. It was three games in a row. This was an ugly loss. The Chiefs won ugly for much of the remainder of the regular season. In Denver, the Chiefs raced to a 27 to nothing lead. He dives for the end zone! Touchdown! But needed a big play from Chris Jones late to seal the win. He's hit as the ball flies up into the air. Intercepted! Left side. Against Houston, a team that won three games all season, the Chiefs had to go to overtime. Five. Touchdown! It's hard to win in the NFL. 
I'm taking him any way I can get him. Wait, wait. The Seahawks had Mahomes talking to himself on Christmas Eve. Oh, man, dude. Just calm the storm. It's funny, I, got, I saw that a lot more as my career's gone on, that I, I am talking talking to myself in a sense. It definitely is something that just keeps me locked into the moment. On this play, perhaps his inner voice said, run faster. Just clips the pylon with the ball in his right hand. I touched him! I touched him! In a sense, I've always been just like one step faster than the guy chasing me. I'm not a fast guy. But I, I'm quick, and I, I and I always I joke around and say I run scared. That, that fear puts that speed into me, bro. Like it adds like extra two points. Like they should have had somebody like chasing me for, on my 40. I'd ran like four four. Really? You want to present coach with that gift? We got you a Christmas gift. Oh. This wasn't my idea. I'm throwing this all on Ted Cruz, the head PR here in Kansas City. Those victory cheeseburgers taste a little bit better than the regular ones. May you all get a gift as great as this. Cheeseburgers of paradise, man. Paradise is hard to reach in the NFL. Leaders like Patrick Mahomes know that if you don't enjoy the journey, you may never find it. These are the moments we live for right here, baby. Go out there and embrace that, man. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy it. Are you able to, in the moment, enjoy it, or does that only come after you win? Um, I, I believe I'm able to enjoy it. Uh, I got to watch my dad go through the ups and downs of his career growing up, and he played in the major leagues for eight years, but he also played in the minor leagues for 10 years. So he had a lot of times where he was battling to try to get back up and be in the big leagues. And I remember watching that, and I, I just, I always just, whenever you're at that level that you want to be at, to make sure you enjoy it, because it happens fast. We did it, baby. We did it. I love you. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I love this. And you have to. You have to. Yeah, let's have fun. Dominate while we're doing it. I don't think it's about the destination myself. I think it's about the journey. Because within the journey, you learn so much to help you get to the destination. Ah! I enjoy the, the process, going and having to work out every day, being able in the meeting room, having to study your opponent, study yourself, get better. I think that's the beauty of the game. Damn, this feel good, boy. I can live in this moment right here. I love it, man. We put so much freaking effort and so much focus, devote so much of our time and our livelihood to this game. Sometimes it can get hard to just enjoy it while you're in it, but there's nothing better than fighting for your right to party, baby. The Chiefs finished the regular season 14 and three, and their playoff party got off to a rousing start. They'll roll to the right, off reverse action. They find Kelsey inside the five, touchdown! The Chiefs score on their first drive of the game. Kelsey set a playoff record for catches by a tight end with 14. The problem was that not all of them were from Mahomes. If Mahomes is hurt, well, he really is. It's his right ankle, guys. Oh, f we got a problem. I'm good. I'm good. Him and Coach Reed are fighting on the side, like, I don't want to go get the ass ready. I want to get it. And Coach Reed's like, Yeah, you going to get it? He's like, I don't want to get it. Whenever you're in that x-ray room, no matter what you think, you never know. Looks like the ankle got twisted up as he got sandwiched. I was definitely more scared that it was going to be worse. I wasn't going to be able to play, and he worked so hard to be in the playoffs. With Mahomes out, Chad Henney threw a touchdown pass to Kelsey. In the second half, the league MVP returned. Once he put the tape on, it pretty much is just a heavy foot, and you can't bend it. You can't do anything with on the ankle. You just kind of have to leave it flat. Definitely felt like I had some type of cinder block on my leg. And he's uh, hopping around, trying to gut it out here. I know he's going to do everything in his power to stay on that field and to will our team to win. Make no mistake about it, this is going to be a lingering injury. He's a warrior, though, man. You got to break his ankle for him not to play. If broke, probably try to tell him to tape it up. There's so much heart that guy to be the best version of him for the people around him. Mahomes now steps up in the pocket, throws light wide open back to the end zone. Touchdown! When you're a great one, you throw jump passes off your right foot in the first half, then you get hurt, and you come back and you throw a jump pass off your left foot in the second half. Just make it up out there, Patrick.
He's a warrior, man. Warrior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Warrior. Yes, sir. Warrior. Uh, warrior. <laughs> Yes sir. 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 We gonna do it, baby. This is definitely something that my parents drilled in me at a young age, just being from East Texas. Um, kind of how I grew up. That's how everybody addressed everybody. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. You showed respect to the people that were around you, and they showed respect to you. You can control the respect you give. The respect you receive is up to others. The Bengals are heading to Kansas City. We'll see y'all in Burrowhead. Yeah, baby. Let that sink in your mind. We'll see y'all in Burrowhead. <laughs> that was a little cocky. That was a little cocky coming into the game. Super Bowl on the line once again, and the smack talk heating up, including from Cincinnati's mayor. I'll be at the game at Burrowhead Stadium. See what I did there? No? It was silly. It was uncalled for. It was... It was weird in my book. Never heard a mayor come out and talk trash to a team or a city like that. Same circumstances under Burrowhead Stadium, so feeling good about it. Did you just say Burrowhead Stadium? Yeah, Burrowhead Stadium, right? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes, of course, is the focus of all this attention eight days ago with the high ankle sprain. There's another area of concern for Kansas City, and that's Travis Kelsey on the next to last snap in practice on Friday. He tweaked his back. He's been getting treatment all weekend long. Were you close to not playing? Like 1,000 percent. There was a I went into a game time decision. That was a pretty dark 48 hours for me. It's all about that arrowhead, baby. We done heard everything all week, man. We done heard everything they can say all week. It was a long year for Chris Jones, waiting to get back to this moment and make amends. My whole offseason, I've done extra conditioning, extra training. It was surreal to me. Everything I could have asked for, uh, AFC championship on the line against the same team. Jones came into this game with zero sacks in 13 postseason games. That changed quickly, and the Chiefs held the Bengals to zero yards in the first quarter. Let's go, A7. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Go. Fourth down and a yard for the Chiefs. Mahomes pump faking. Now fires it late for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey. Huge play here. Third down and ten in a tie game. Mahomes will fire it late for the end zone. Caught by Klaus Valdez Stanley. Touchdown. With 44 seconds to play, the score was tied at 20. I'm like, man, it's about to happen. I manifest a lot. I speak a lot of things into existence. So in my mind, I'm like taking a deep breath, trying to compose myself because I'm thinking like, this is your time. This is everything you train for. I got to seize this moment. Third down and eight, Cincinnati Burrow retreating. And now it's going to be sacked. Down he goes. Down he goes, Chris Jones. When you need your best players to step up to send you the Super Bowl, none better, finalist for Defensive Player of the Year, and he should be. Best season of his career. The right tackle grabbed my outside shoulder, and I'm like, okay, lift that rib through, and it's me and Joe Burrow again. It's me and him again. And I was like, pick a boo. Yeah. <laughs> Cartier glasses, I can't even look at you. And it's the guy, all of it's going through my brain as I'm getting closer. Boom, I get him on the ground. And I do the wave. Bye-bye. Because it's game. I know y'all won't get the ball back. I know we're going to score a field goal. And we're going to the Super Bowl. 20 to 20 tied. Mahomes on one leg. 17 seconds left in regulation. Third and four, Kansas City at the Bengal 47-yard line. Chiefs out of timeouts. Mahomes trying to buy some time on that bad ankle. Moving to his right. He is now scrambling, and he's going to get a first down. And now gets hit late. Mahomes gets hit late. It'll be a 15-yard penalty. Oh, don't lie. Yeah! I'm not really supposed to be running. They told me not to run before the game, but I, I kind of let it go at that moment and said, I got to go get this thing. Jets the fastest we saw him run all day. 
giving his team a chance to go to the Super Bowl. You're a warrior. You're a warrior. Eight seconds remaining in regulation of the AFC Championship game. Harrison Butker, the biggest kick of his Chiefs' life. Placement is down. Butker's kick is up. The spinning kick high. Bloody in the air. And it is gone. What a gutsy victory. Yeah, I think guys were probably the most pumped up I'd seen them going into a football game. A lot of trash talk coming from a lot of different places. You got Burrowhead. I mean, the mayor came at me, man. I mean... Don't ever, ever, ever disrespect Arrowhead. <laughs> The Philadelphia Eagles have won the NFC Championship, but they are heading to Super Bowl 57. Let's go play your brother in the Super Bowl. How about that one? Holy smoke. Travis online, people are calling this the, the Kelsey Bowl coming up. Talk about the feeling of being able to Man. brother. Um, haven't talked to him yet, but uh, cool, cool scenario to be in. You know, um, my mom can't lose. Jason and Travis, they become the first set of brothers to play against each other in Super Bowl history. You know, the goal was to always play with him in the Super Bowl. My entire life, I've just kind of been following my brother's footsteps. Sure enough, he goes to the University of Cincinnati. I do the same thing. We both get drafted by Andy Reid. When it came down to choosing the number, um, I wanted it to mean something to me. I love you. You're the, after reason. You're the only reason why I'm wearing 87 anyway. <laughs> Never told you that, man. You started the legacy. 1987, I feel like, was when it all started for me. And that was the year that my brother was born. I wouldn't be here without him. How about this, huh, big guy? Love you. It's still the most uh, gratifying feelings to be able to give uh, give my mom that platform, give my dad that platform, be able to showcase them so that they get their flowers. Not everybody gets to do that for their uh, their parents. Hey, you see her up there? Special guest, Mama Kelsey. Everybody give it up, Kelsey. Woo! I don't know. Donna's the star of the show, though. Donna's the star of the show. I, I, I keep telling her, she got to learn how to say no. She gotta... <laughs> this is what you work for. All off season. Joe Burrow, in this moment. Mahomes in the pocket, floats a pass near side. Kelsey over the shoulder, touchdown! A beautifully thrown ball. Kelsey. We're here. We're here. My little brother. One Kelsey brother watching the other celebrate occurred often in a high scoring first half. And it is caught for a touchdown. He gets a turnover or something. Hurts by himself in the backfield. He wants to run it. A good out. The ball's out. He kicks the ball. It's picked up by Kansas City. They're going to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! Oh! Oh! Hey, Nick. It worked. They're going to the thing that went with me. Hell of a play. That play, Spags put me at the zero nose. I was on Kelsey. Kelsey was getting help from the guard. I pushed the center, and the guard came with me. So Nick was one-on-one -on -one with the quarterback. Nick Bowling was able to run free through the hole. A defensive score by Nick Bowling! And just like that, the game is tied. Hey, Snake. Have a little play call on this, man. All right, let's have some fun now. Let's get it back. Let's go, D. Big time stop again, D. First and goal of the ball. Hurts is going to run and score! Their defense was being dominated. Their quarterback re-injured his ankle. 
Keep your eye on Mahomes. Oh, bro, limping. What we were afraid of, and he's in agony on the sideline right now. He is hurt on that ankle. I'll be fine. Is it feeling bad? It looks a little bit better now. And they trailed by 10 at the half. The kick is up, and the kick is perfect. Maybe the comeback Chiefs had the Eagles right where they wanted them. And perhaps both Kelsey brothers right. knew it. We good, baby. We don't get frustrated in this, man. We just find a way to get this done, you feel me? Yeah, don't be excited yet. A lot of ball left, you know what I mean? And they're a really good team. Twenty-four, fourteen, Eagles. But these are the Kansas City Chiefs, and Patrick Mahomes has picked himself out of some very difficult situations before. I think we actually play better when we're down. I guess we like challenging ourselves at this point. I still haven't figured it out. Um, it's just it's, it's kind of how we've become as a team that we just don't give up. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Love the moment, man. We about to get loose now. Yeah. Big rush on Mahomes. Steps up on the pocket, throws it late, and a catch made by Kelsey at his shoe tops. Oh, and a gain of 11 yards and one of the best catches Kelsey's made this season. Stays alive, keeps the ball in the right hand. He'll run it. He's at the 15, got a first down, slips inside a defender, gets all the way to the Eagle 5. Hand it off, left guard, it goes, touchdown! Kansas City! Isaiah Pacheco! And the Chiefs back within three. Let's go. We right in. That's who we are right there. Don't forget about it. We good. We good. It's coming. It's coming. We don't need big time. Big time from you, bro. Stay locked in, baby. Don't do a left dirty XL, 35 whack corn dog. They have third down and three here at the Eagles' five-yard line. They're going to throw a quick pass to Tony. He's got it on the edge. He will walk into the end zone. Hey, hey. My goal. My goal. The play became known as Corn Dog, and it wasn't the first time the Chiefs ran it on this field. It's crazy how it works, uh, calling the same play, uh, which we hadn't ran like the entire year except for the first game and the last one. I think the biggest thing, and, and you see it uh, through the mic'd up stuff, is Trav telling uh, Kadarius Tony, you know, the watch your watch your feet because uh, you're when you're motioning in that hard and then trying to turn back to go the other way. Uh, you want to make sure you keep your feet. Control under control. I see the, the DBs trying to run across the field to get the motion. KT really stops and goes back out, and I'm like, oh, it's a wide open touchdown. Kadarius Tony couldn't be more wide open. It was the perfect play call at the perfect moment by a Hall of Fame coach. Great call. Great call. The Chiefs had another great call dialed up on their next drive. But before the snap, Andy Reid saw something he didn't like. Ball will be snapped. Left side wide open, Sky ball. Coach Reed calls a timeout to the referee who's not a, a referee. He's like the replacement referee at that uh, in case someone gets hurt. Um, and uh, luckily enough, he did it to the wrong guy because we got a touchdown. We're not in the right formation, but I see the coverage. I'm like, this is the perfect play for the coverage that they're in. So let's just run it. Man wide open. Touchdown, Chiefs. It's Skyboard. It's crazy because it's his first touchdown of his entire career is in the Super Bowl. Hey, and we're in the wrong formation. I know we were. I know. Hey, Pat, we're going to need to score at least one more time, Pat. We're going to need to score at least one more. Travis Kelsey was right. As the Chiefs began their final possession, the score was tied at 35. Hey, hey, all the marbles on the line for each other, baby. For each other. That. Here comes pressure to the outside. As Mahomes steps up, he's going to scramble. He's at the 40, bad angle. 30, bad angle. Don't underestimate how tough Patrick Mahomes is.
35-35 time. 11 seconds left to go in regulation of Super Bowl 57. Winchester the snap. The hold by Townsend. Kick is away and good! For the second time in four seasons, the Lombardi Trophy has a red and gold reflection. Way to go. Congratulations. Go celebrate. Go celebrate. Go celebrate. I love it. Thank you, man. No, you're good. One of the year of my life. I love it, big guy. Yeah, I love it too. Go celebrate. I know how I feel. I know how I feel about this game. And uh, and I got it because of the passion that, that he plays with. And um, yeah. Losing a Super Bowl ain't fun. I'll tell you that. So, yeah. But it was awkward. It was awkward. It still is. And I still feel for him, but uh, it had to be my guy. How about it, Joe? It's Mama! Mama! <laughs> 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 oh, I love you, Mom. How about this? Huh? Man, the week of your life, I had the year of my life. How about this, huh? <laughs> love you. I ain't never seen nothing like you. You do it. <laughs> you do it. I love you. I love you now, baby. Man. Damn you. Yeah. I remember him saying you're different. It's a cool moment. I mean, uh, I, I got to watch my dad growing up, and for him to be able to watch me in those big those big moments, uh, neither one of us thought it would ever be football, uh, but uh, I'm glad that it turned out to be football and that we were able to enjoy that moment together. I had to hug him every time I see him, uh, you know? Chris, listen, you're a special guy. You got a big heart. It don't, don't ever change that way. Do you know what I'm saying? I get 95 up here. I want. I get 95. Just get 95. Get just 95. Get At first, I think they just wanted me, and then and then Kelsey, and I was just saying, Chris Jones is big, a big a part of this as as we are. 95. My dog. Bro. I love you, dog. I love you, my dog. <laughs> Nice to see you again. It's nice to see you again. It's nothing like it, man. It's not like the first feeling, because that first feeling is like, oh my God, I can't even believe I got here. Second feeling is like, damn, I miss you. I freaking miss you. You don't even know how hard I had to work to get back to you. There's a lot of things that go through your mind. At the end of the day, you're just so freaking happy that you're able to hold it. Just the uh, the history of it, how much glory it has, how much people desire to be in, to be in that moment.